Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, we're using the MTZ 556 assault rifle. This thing has 100% received a buff since the beta. It definitely feels like it has it packs more of a punch, I guess, is the best way to explain it. It's still a very fast-paced assault rifle, but the damage range feels like it definitely received a buff because it does a pretty good job at the medium ranges now. At long range, I'm going to say it struggles simply because of the recoil pattern. It's impossible to give this thing zero recoil, but it's a very aggressive assault rifle. For aggressive players, you're going to have an absolute blast with this thing. Let's get into the attachments. We're going to be starting this build here with a stock where I have the EXF Close Quarters Assault Sock, giving you gun kick control and recoil control. This is going to significantly help you with your medium range fights as it still does like to bounce around a lot. Now we're down here to a rear grip with the Bruin TR24 Assault Grip for firing aim stability, gun kick control and recoil control. This is going to keep that visual recoil control down quite a bit. It's still going to have a little bit of shake to it, but it does really help the cause there, meaning you're not going to be losing your shots or you're losing your enemies while you're taking your shots. For the underbrow, we have, an, have a Modern Warfare 2 attachment here in the FTAC Ripper 56. This thing still reigns supreme in the form of underbarrels. There are going to be some circumstances where this thing isn't so good because certain weapons have better recoil patterns than others, but for this particular weapon, the FTAC Ripper 56 really does do a fantastic job as far as that side-to-side -side shake goes. For the muzzle, I'm going with the Shadow Strike Suppressor. We have zero cons to running it but we get to stay off of the mini map meaning it's going to be much easier to streak up and go on things such as flanks and our last attachment is going to be the mtz clinch pro barrel to increase your bullet velocity damage range aiming idle aiming idle sway and fire aiming stability so there are other attachments here in the barrel category that do give you for example this one gives you more recoil control this one technically gives you more bullet velocity and damage range but at the sacrifice of more movement Based on all of my testing, the Clinch Pro seems to do the best for me because we're not sacrificing any aim down sight speed here. Yes, we are affecting the tax dance, but you'll see in the gameplay, I don't actually use that whatsoever. So this is just a whole bunch of positives piled up against very few negatives here. So by far the best barrel, in my opinion, to be running on the MTZ. I'm gonna be honest, this gold camo, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's, it's literally just gold camo with like some sort of print pattern on it, but I like it a lot. I, I don't know why, because it's not like super bright. It's kind of dull actually, but it just stands out and looks absolutely fantastic in game. Let me know what you think of the gold camo in this game down in the comment section. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button. As always, let's get over to high rise for a gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy. So I've made a discovery. They changed it to where the Overwatch Hilo and the VTOL jet are not in the same category anymore, meaning I can actually run both now. That actually suits me very well because you guys know I'm not a fan of uh, the streaks that I have to control. I'd rather run around and get kills. So what I can now do is run both of those streaks and I can go for high kills and not focus so much on a nuke because like one of the biggest troubles I've been having is getting high kills in games like these are not the easiest task. These maps are just big. Like that's what Modern Warfare 2 maps were kind of known for is they were not the smallest in size but they were super fun maps. So if I can lock these streaks down, I can end up getting a lot of kills and I can have an absolute ball with it. So that's the plan here. So I want to push this hill because I believe the spawns have flipped here. Kind of. I think these spawns have half flipped. Then again, I'm not too sure on that. I'm concerned I'm going to run here and they're going to spawn behind me. Obviously, first order of business is going to be winning the game. So looks like we do have some spawns locked in here. At least it appears that way. Nope. And we got the support hill up. Let's throw that out right now. There was just three guys here. They're right there. Yep. There's the VTOL, so we can hold that now. Good job, teammate. We can hold the VTOL now. The only thing is the spawn's 100% flip, so. Oh, that sounds not good. All right, I gotta go. 
Got my advanced UAV. Let's hit the advanced. They're still spawning here. I gotta go. That sucks, bro. I was very close to a nuke, but I'm not gonna target that nuke. I just ran out of bullets. When you have high TTK games like this, it does become more difficult to nuke because you run out of bullets very, very quickly. But we do still have axe. Oh, I got a double kill with that nade. Try to get more streaks here. That's the plan. But this hill is statistically it's just by default, kind of hard to break. Just based on the spawns, unless I go all the way around. Yeah, I'm out of here. He's got that launcher. Okay. I'm very close to another set of streaks. That's why I'm playing passively. We've kept them off the hill. Getting a lot of kills taken, but that's no big deal. It's weird. He saw me before I saw him. This guy's going above. Going above. Oh no, he jumped down. There's a VTOL. We're good. We're in. We're in good shape here. Thing is, is they are there. They're on both sides. I mean, there's a guy behind the fence here. I'm reloading. All right, have it. We're going to the hill. I'm with you. Scared me there a little bit, teammate. Let's get a VTOL in. I'm lucky to win that when I stop shooting. I still occasionally have moments here where I forget I need to keep shooting. Mm -hmm. 54. And there is a lot of time. Chuck a nade right there. Looks like that's where they're going to be. Let's go to the hill. Okay. I'm going to repeat this. I'm not going for an MGB, by the way. Just in case people didn't hear me. An MGB is going to be very difficult in this climate. I also don't know what streak I'm on, and I don't want to slow down my pace just to target a nuke here. It's 
62 kills. Oh, teammates locked me in at UAV, so let's get aggressive again. We know where they're at. Oh, I'm on a 24. I forgot that that counter is at the bottom there. Little things like that make the game so much better. Just a counter. You know what I mean? It shows you how many kills you're getting. Just drastically improves the game. It's crazy. It's just subtle changes like that. Puts us on a 26. You see, now I'm getting in my head. Now I'm getting in my head because I think I can get the new. I'm just going to lay here. If they want to push me, yep. Because now we don't have any UAVs. We don't have anything like that. So I'm a little scared. I don't think it's unwarranted to be scared. Nukes will always scare me. Let's go, bro. That is such a W. First MTZ nuke as well. You know, it's it, it's something where you get in your head when it comes to nukes, where your pace just naturally slows down. Even though you want to run at everybody, you're just naturally your pace slows down, unfortunately. Even though you don't necessarily want to slow down your pace. Wait, there's a guy. I'm, reloading. I'm surprised these spawns haven't flipped, man. That was crazy. I mean, that was half my nuke right there, basically. That was a nade, and I don't know where it came from. There's a double nade. Where did those nades even come from? Huh. That's kind of crazy. Two nades right in my face, no idea where they come from. Get a couple of nades in there, we might be able to pick up a kill or two. Guy on the chopper. Damn. There's another one. That puts us at 81. I can't even see him. I see his little diamond there, like half. All right, 81 kills. I oh, I spawned close, so can keep it going a bit longer here. I think he jumped off. I, we just saw him top. Eighty-five. Let's hit the nuke. This is, Rose. This is my Fire most kills way. on this map, actually. I hear him above me. I think. Yeah. That's gonna do it. Unless someone else shows their face right now, that's gonna do it. Ninety-one kills after all the kills with the nuke there with the MTZ. First nuke on high rise, man. GGS.